started out with uh, 14 by 30 uh, greenhouse because we wanted to uh, have better produce in the in the winter time up here because we're kind of at the end of the trucking route and it's it's not all that great so uh, we were able to extend our season uh, we had to do some um, drainage work uh, to run the water off we put up the second greenhouse but as far as getting into a market uh, we planted a 30 foot row of of head lettuce excuse me of leaf lettuce it all came on at once and it was like oh no we can't eat all of this so we made a phone call to one of the local stores and they said sure we'll bring it in uh, they'll take it if we bring it in and uh, so we started with the one store and then just kind of word word of mouth um, other people started buying uh, and, and we were uh, already selling at the farmers market uh, the Engadine farmers market that Greg Kraus started so the Moors um had probably the most experience of anyone coming into the project in general. So they had had a small hoop house that they built that I'm not remembering exactly the sizes, but it was something like 14 or 16, 20, no, I, don't, I think it was less than 20 and maybe 20, 24 long that they had played around with a little bit. So they had some experience with season extension, um, though not a lot. And then Dale also has experience with heated greenhouses that they use at the high school or at the school where he teaches. So he had both this kind of greenhouse experience and season extension unheated structure experience that I think really helped them to do a really nice job. Uh, we had already had the idea of using the, the greenhouse during the winter time, and basically it started out with spinach and carrots. Um, and spinach. some mustards. Those were our first tries at, at winter, uh, winter gardening. They're kind of in you know, the situation where they're more rural than some of the other sites. Um, and so they had a little bit more limited markets, but they also had a connection with the grocery store, which made things for them um, a pretty positive experience, I think. Every time we get done with a bed, we put new compost on. Mm -hmm we found that it it hardly pays uh, to, to skip the compost because it takes too much out of it. So um, it's done regularly after every, after every picking. But we have changed it, like she said, from 48 to 30 inches and we've built a cart. Uh, it's For just a lot, and lot easier to uh, do it that way than to sit on a stool in between the rows. Um, now we can we can sit on the seat, put our basket up front, and pick right into that. Or like today, I transplanted into those two rows over there uh, using the cart, and it saves a lot on the back. The weeds grow all winter long. Um, we have one called chickweed which is the main that's killer nasty. that's we lost three beds right away um, this spring to it and so we decided we needed to do something different so we ran a trial with one row of plastic just to make sure we it wasn't suffocating the worms or uh, you know whether we could water it adequately and so when we finished that first row it did had done very well so then we started going through um, with the rest of the greenhouse things that are well with the plastic it has made cleaning the lettuce much easier uh, rather than the, having the dirt splash up so uh, so far we haven't seen any really negative effects to the plastic um, and hopefully it will stay that way. Like any other farming, it takes a lot of work and there's no easy way to do it. Um, if you think you're just gonna throw it up and 
uh, put stuff in the ground and, and have it all work out well, it, you got another thing coming at you. So They were able to grow things, uh, and especially since they had experience, they knew which of the cold tolerant crops would do well. Uh, especially that far north. So they do, grew a lot of miner's lettuce or Claytonia, same thing. Um, and then they were going ahead and making salad mix in the winter especially and putting it into, um, or the salad mix, and then that was going to the grocery store. In the winter time, we also put that other third layer of plastic over it. It's right. about three foot, four foot off the ground. And then we put a hundred foot sheet of plastic. Once we do that, Usually the ground doesn't freeze. We're probably not going to um, put in a winter uh, garden this year, but instead um, seed it uh, either into wheat or rye or something of that sort, and then maybe run the chickens uh, in it um, later. And then it, February, um, hose everything down and and work everything up again. Um, I never dreamed I'd be a lettuce farmer, but no. uh, or the here lettuce, comes the lettuce here lady. Here comes the lettuce lady. <laughs> so uh, that was not one of my titles, aspiring there. goals in life. But uh, uh, you know, it 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 is one way to grow green things to turn them into money to help pay for college bills. It's so, nice to go into the store and walk out with more money than you than you came with so. so I'm thankful for how the Lord provides has yep. been providing for our kids education and and, uh, and our family mm -hmm.